the hallway. Um, these just sit and go. In the nursery, so I just put it in the hallway. Sort of like leads into her room. Like this. Cute. Over. shoes the first shoes I bought her and this is her in the hospital and mirrors and this is like the little nursing corner her blanket her grandma made and then shelves let's see her little animals I got I think they're super cute her crown she got her in her, her newborn photos in. Her little picture frame, months and months. Her dragon. I really like this. It's like I put up a curtain rod and it's all her shoes. It's really super helpful. One of her little outfits. Um, the... These are wall decals that I painted. It looks like I stenciled it, but since her rental, her curtains are so girly. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? Her rug, so cute and soft. Her unicorn. One of her little dresses that her auntie gave her. It's one of the wall decals I really like. And this and the crib. And the baby. Look how cute. Wow, are you going to be on the video? I mean, the video. <laughs> and then the another decal that I like. So it's supposed to be uh, like Cinderella, but I did gray and pink. And if I could have painted the walls, I would have done gray. And this is her footprints every month, starting at two months. See the difference. Her baby book, where I document stuff, and just a book my mom sent me. And then up here, I have some more stuff that I made, which is a um, the bunting flags. And they're like I just glued them. I didn't sew them at all. And they're, like, I wanted different. I got sick of pink and gray. It just was too much. I made this. And it's like a bow holder. And people sent her all these bows. She, how cute. How cute is that? So this says Ava. I just, these are just, um, glue, stick on letters like sticker letters so I really like that it's really it was pretty and then I finally got a shelf because she has more shoes than me now super cute shoes super cute tiny little flip flops like that she won't keep on her feet but how cute is that her bathing suits are adorable so I made this and it's a bow holder, like it's an oatmeal can, or something like that. Lemonade can, I think. And I just put um, car sock paper over it. And then you can also put like the bows that I, she outgrows, I put in there. So I thought that was super cute. That's the bow I made for her. I don't know, I have plenty of, a lot of bows I made for her. So, 
pretty it is. Okay, so these are her letters that I made. I don't know if you can see it. I, um, the flowers are expensive, so I did mold, like mold, mold moss, moss on the letters. So I did um, moss on the letters with roses, and they're like really earthy. I think they're cute. Um. So oh, this is just an overview. It's kind of small. And this is the cutest thing in the room. <laughs> Pinks your ears. You like your nursery? You do? You do like it? Um, I did a belly cast when I was pregnant and I did it kind of myself. So I haven't finished it at all. So this is it. And when she was like eight weeks, finished it. But when she was eight weeks, I could just put her in there. And she would still fit in it like that. That was really cute. But I think it'll be pretty when, it, when I get it finished. I want to paint it like Hawaiian. Something to remember Hawaii. So this is the nursery overview. All the flags. The dresser, her furniture, I got all different places, but it still matches, so I really like it. I'm going to be sad to leave the nursery because I don't know how I'm going to decorate her new room. Hopefully it'll all come with me. This was a crown that I made, like a flower crown that I did for um, a breastfeeding photo shoot and it turned out really pretty like the flowers are actually from Walmart and this is I just wish I could have this everywhere I really like the vines if I could paint the walls I would really want to do like paint I would paint a carriage and do lots of vines and stuff and I got a pumpkin since she was an October baby it's just um one of the many pumpkins that I own is in here. I have a problem. So. But she really likes her nursery. You like your kid? Hmm. I see. You do? <laughs> you like your nursery? You do? It's cute. You do? Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Don't fall. She's already climbed up. I think she's just like, so that's really girly. And then her dresser. Yeah, it's just kind of small, but I tried to decorate as much as I could with like baby clothes. I just think these are so cute. She can't fit it anymore, but oh, it's so cute. And I made these bows. You can just see the fabric behind it, but and that's her first like little baby foot impressions that I did, which was I think in December when she was a month old. Well, no, November. And here's her unicorn. Oh. Oh yeah, so all her stuff. I really like this. 
a changing table because there it wasn't expensive and when she gets older I can take the pads out of it and put her like stuffed animals in there maybe I'll find a use for it so this was just a hurricane glass she has more bows like she has so many bows like more bows in here I make bows people sent me bows a little crown there so pretty really pretty bows and then this one is just a like a lab beaker it has all her um, pacifiers in it so this is like her cloth diapers and clothes that need to be put away um, bath stuff and more blankets like she has tons of blankets so blankets and that's pretty functional like for a while it was I didn't have a dresser I mean I, and I didn't have a bookshelf so it was really good and that's it this is just how I ended up with above the crib just to be more practical I had to take down the canopy and move it and I just put up one of her uh, 16 by 20 canvas here. And also I added and uh, hang all her bows and her socks here. If you can see that, it was pretty cute. And her shoes. I ended up making one rack here for shoes and one for hats. So this is like the little corner. But I made. This is cardboard, stapled ribbon to hang it, and that way you can hang the shoes. And these are just curtain rods from Walmart with cafe rod hooks. So you can just hook the shoes right on there. But I like those for bigger shoes. I think they turn out Say cute. Bye -bye. Okay, all right, bye-bye.